Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In today's video, I'd like to talk about finding the volume of a rectangular prism. A rectangular prism is a solid three-dimensional object that has six faces that are rectangles. If you unfold a rectangular prism, it will look like this. Notice the six rectangles. You can find the volume one of two ways. First, you can multiply length times width times height. Or if you know the area of the base, you can use base times height. Let's look at a couple examples of calculating the volume of a rectangular prism. Okay, so let's go ahead and work an example. And the first example I'd like to use is which of these two rectangular prisms has a greater volume? the shorter, little bit wider one, or the tall, more narrow. So let's just plug in the numbers into a formula. So uh, remember the formula is length times width times height, and we're going to use that one because the base area is not given. So now we just plug in the numbers. Let's go with the length is 4, the width is 5, and the height is 10. Okay. And now 4 times 5 is 20, times 10 is equal to 200, and it is given in meters, meters cubed. So let's compare this now to the tall, narrow one, okay? So again, we're going to use length times width times height, and so the length is 2 meters, okay? Um, well, I don't know why I wrote the meter there. Next, we have the width of 5, and then the height is 13. Okay, so now we have 2 times 5 is 10, times 13 is equal to 130 meters cubed. Okay, now that's a lot of times why uh, restaurants will have the containers tall, and narrow because it appears that this would have a greater volume but in reality this one here does okay the next type of problem you may encounter is a, a word problem and it says this Bob needs to ship a gift he has a rectangular box that has a base area of 75 square inches and is 5 inches tall he would like to know the volume of the rectangular box so in this particular example uh, I'm going to use volume is equal to base times height. So it says the base is 75 square inches. I'll just plug in the number 75 and the height is 5. And so now to find volume, all I do is I go 75 times 5. And if you multiply 75 times 5, that is 375. And it is in inches, so it will be inches cubed. And finally, what if you're giving a actual rectangular prism, and then how do you find the volume of this? And basically what you do is you get your ruler out. I'm going to measure in centimeters. You measure, sorry about that, you measure the length and the width and then the height, and you just use the formula. And I went ahead and pre-measured it, and so if you measure the uh, length, you're going to get 11. So let me plug this down here. The length is 11. And the width, that's hard to see, is also 11. And then the height, I measured it, and that was, uh, let me see here, I've got the height is 13. So it's now is 13. So you have 11 times 11 times 13, and 11 times uh 11 is 121, and then 121 times 13. And just to speed things up, I'll go ahead and use a calculator here. Uh, and that is 1,573. Um, and so that would be centimeters cubed. So that would be the volume of this rectangular box, which is a rectangular prism. Hope that helps in calculating the volume of a rectangular prism. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.